Hey Tankers! In today's vlog, we'll be telling you about improvements to daily missions, upcoming in-game promotions, and new ways to become a better tanker. Let's start with development news. A few days ago, tanky developers started working on a major improvement to daily missions, what they call daily mission chains. The update will encourage players to complete at least one daily mission every day during a week. If a tanker completes at least one daily mission every 24 hours for 7 days straight, he will receive a bonus and move on to the next 7 days stretch, which will bring him even bigger rewards. The maximum prize will be issued after four consecutive chains, that is, after completing at least one mission every day for four consecutive weeks. If you break the chain by skipping a task on one of the days, you'll have to start over at the beginning of the current chain. If you skip two days in a row, you'll have to go back to the beginning of the previous week. So, the key to success is to complete a daily mission every 24 hours for 28 days. As for rewards, their size will depend on the number of consecutive chains you complete, as well as your rank. Prizes will include crystals and supplies, similar to the rewards you get for completing daily missions. So, the system will be handing out extra goodies to tankers who regularly enter steel and complete daily assignments. The feature is already being developed by our programmers and will hit the game in the coming months. It's time to learn something new with another episode of Pro's Advice. Today's guest is tanky YouTuber Aflopoid. Hey guys, this is Aflopoid. Today I'll be giving you some tips that you'll find useful in combat and might just add a bit more fun to your everyday tanky battles. Let's go! I'll start with something that's simple but quite handy. Mid and low range turrets have recoil. This can be used for balancing your tank in air, allowing you to land on your tracks after a jump. Close combat turrets, a Cedar, Firebird and Freeze do not have any recoil. But that doesn't mean you should spend all your time with your tracks facing the sky. For a safe landing, start rotating your hull once you're in the air, like this. You'll need some practice before you can perform this trick properly, but it's easier than it looks. Now on to more fun stuff. Let's talk about using Wasp and Hammer, a combination that I believe to be one of the most potent in TO, thanks to its damage and speed. In defense, Wasp and Hammer is good for two reasons. The turret is capable of dealing a lot of damage to tanks that infiltrate your base, while the hull allows you to quickly catch a flag stealer, deal with him and return the flag to your team. For the same reasons, this combo is also good for attacking, stealing a flag, rushing to rescue your teammates in time, causing havoc behind enemy lines with your firepower, it's all possible. Wasp and Hammer is quite popular among gold hunters and in Save the Gold events. The combo makes it easy to get on top of enemy tanks and perform long jumps unassisted, which is really great for catching a gold. Of course, it has weak points. You'll be destroyed quite often. This is not a tank for a high death kill ratio. Wasp and Hammer is more about fun, but can be deadly in experienced hands. And one last thing. Got lots of supplies? Want to use them to get a high death kill ratio and earn some crystals? Then your choice is a sturdy hull coupled with thunder. Set up such a combo and join a polygon CP. Place yourself underneath the second floor driveway, mine the approaches and start shooting in the direction of the point. You'll often be dealing damage to several tanks at once and you can hide when your health is low. As for the protective paint? Only other thunders will be able to get you below that bridge, so get yourself some anti-thunder paint. That's all from me. Have fun while playing, but keep DK ratio in mind as well. Good luck! Video of the week. We received a lot of submissions since last Friday, and now it's time to check out the best one.
Now some awesome news for all you Brazilian tankers out there. The annual carnival celebrations have started and there's a lot of exciting stuff ahead. What's coming for Brazilian players and what can tankers from other countries expect in the coming weeks? Let's ask our marketing specialist Roman Kungurtsev. Hey guys, if you are playing the Brazilian version of Tanky, you definitely want to spend the next 5 days in the game. Here's why. Today, February 5th, every crystal purchase will be getting an additional 25% bonus. Tomorrow, February 6th, we have double battle funds, which means you'll be getting twice as many crystals for every battle. This will be followed by 3 days of discounts, 25% of paints on the 7th, 25% of hulls on the 8th, and 25% of turrets on the 9th. And to top it all up in style, on February 10th all battles will be featuring gold boxes worth 3000 crystals. Additionally, we have already introduced free in-game gifts with carnival themes, so make sure you start handing out some goodies to your friends. By the way, if you are not from Brazil and play Tanki on European servers, don't be disappointed. Valentine's Day and the traditional Iron Days sale are right around the corner, and we have prepared an equally juicy set of promotions. You can expect to see them in the game around mid-February. Be prepared! That's it for this episode, tankers! Hit the like button if you enjoyed the new format of vlogs and definitely share your opinion about it in the comments below as well as in our forum. Good luck!